Hey guys, today I wanted to come at you with a different kind of video. Because with graphics card prices continuing to drop and a new generation of GPUs releasing, the used market is starting to look really appealing to budget builders. One of my favorite graphics cards of all time, and a great contender for the best GPU you can get on eBay currently, is the 1070 Ti. This card got me through the worst times of the graphics card shortage and pandemic. It has been a while, so I decided to dust the old guy off and see how well it would still hold up playing 1080p games today. Starting out, I took a look at Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p with the max settings. And this old boy puts up a pretty solid performance, staying really close to the 60fps mark. We do see quite a few dips, but I think if you tinkered with the graphics settings just a bit, you would get a fantastic looking 60fps 1080p experience. Moving on to Cyberpunk 2077, I started with 1080p medium settings, and the card is kind of struggling here. It hovers around the mid 50s in terms of FPS, which is barely passable for me. But we all know how difficult this game can be to run. Switching it to low, the experience gets better, but it still has a hard time keeping 60 FPS in the crowded bar. Really not the best showing for the 1070 Ti here. I decided to give Elden Ring a try and see if I could maybe push 1440p medium settings, and I was pleasantly surprised. The 1070 Ti gave a very playable 1440p experience. Now don't get me wrong, it still dips below 60fps a few times when things get pretty busy, but if the counter wasn't running, I don't think I would have really noticed. Even briefly putting Elden Ring on 1440p high settings, the game never dipped below 50fps even though it was kind of struggling to reach 60. Next, I wanted to try God of War at 4K, just to see if we can reach super high resolutions. At the lowest preset, this is still pretty much unplayable, but I thought it was worth giving it a chance to play a 4K game. Taking a look at Spider-Man Remastered, 1080p max, this card does fantastic, easily keeping around 60fps delivering very smooth feeling gameplay. We do see occasional dips, but if the counter wasn't running, it's hardly noticeable. I decided to bump it up to 1440p, and it started to struggle, occasionally getting close to 60fps, but for the most part, it was stuck in the high 30s. The last game I wanted to look at was Horizon Zero Dawn, ultimate quality, 1080p, it easily averaged 60fps, which is pretty awesome, and I think goes to show some slightly older titles can still be maxed out by this card. So what's the conclusion here? For me, this GPU still delivers an amazing 1080p experience, to this day being able to max out some of the games at a cost of $150 used on eBay. It's hard to ask for much more. This card may be close to its end of life, but I think it still has got a few more fighting years in it. And if you're looking to get into the PC gaming world on a budget, I think playing on the 1070 Ti will leave you feeling very happy. People will pay over double for a card like the 3060 and only get a 20% increase in performance. For what the 1070 Ti delivers, it's an absolute steal. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Before I let you go, I am going to hit you with a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by us. Here at Omni Ray Electronics, we make custom built PCs at a great cost. We offer free shipping and is built with the care you would expect from a smaller business like ours. And if you want something more rustic, 
go out and check out our friends at Electronic PC, where they do custom wood grain PCs that look really incredible and can mix in with a more traditional themed home much better than a normal steel PC. Once again, check us out on OmniRay Electronics or head over to our friends at Electronic PC for any of your custom build needs. Thank you for watching the video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It lets me know that you did like it and I can put out more content just like this one. It was really awesome looking at an older graphics card again. It's been a long time since I busted out that old 1070 Ti and I'm glad to see it's still kicking pretty good. Um, leave a comment with any of your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the 1070 Ti or if you think it's a good budget purchase. And you've been watching a few of my videos already, please hit subscribe. That always helps as well. Really appreciate seeing awesome feedback from you all and uh, it'll help you stay in tune for my next video. Once again, I really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end here and I hope to see you in another video.